Hey everyone, uh, this is Dr. Mungli here. So today's question is uh, about uh, circadian rhythm. Dark and light cycle is due to normal amounts of melatonin that is produced by pineal gland located in the brain. Which of the following essential amino acid is a precursor for this neurohormone? So basically question is asking about uh, which essential amino acid is responsible for synthesis of melatonin in pineal gland in the brain. Now first thing is to revise uh, what all those essential amino acids so we can remember those by private Tim Hall or PVT Tim Hall and that is phenylalanine, valine, threonine, tryptophan, isoleucine, methionine, histidine, arginine, leucine and lysine. These are all essential amino acids. So if you go by that uh, and also if you like recall your tryptophan metabolism. So one of the special product that is coming from tryptophan is melatonin. So tryptophan in fact it is converted to serotonin, melatonin and niacin. Serotonin is in serotonergic neurons, melatonin is synthesized in pineal gland and niacin. 60 mg of tryptophan is converted to niacin. So going with that, so the answer is obvious here. It is tryptophan. Option D is the correct answer. Let's uh, quickly revise uh, uh, briefly. A tryptophan metabolism or conversion of tryptophan into melatonin. So the tryptophan is initially is converted into 5 hydroxy tryptophan and this job is done by tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme and note that tryptophan hydroxylase needs tetrahydrobiopterin. So deficiency of tetra tetrahydrobiopterin can lead to decrease in this reaction and that can lead to decrease in serotonin melatonin uh, just to uh, give you a brief uh, uh, view on that is like in a non-classic uh, phenylketonuria or which is also called as malignant hyperphenylalanemia there will be deficiency of tetrahydrobiopterin so this is one of the reaction that will be affected in that disease Anyway, tryptophan is converted to 5-hydroxytryptophan by tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme which needs tetrahydrobiopterin. Now the 5-hydroxytryptophan which can easily cross the blood-brain barrier. So that's why 5-hydroxytryptophan is a preferred way to improve serotonin levels in the brain. So it will be supplemented in patients with depression because uh, the other product that is serotonin cannot cross blood brain barrier anyway so 5 hydroxytryptophan can be converted to 5 hydroxytryptamin this will be done by aromatic amino acid decarboxylase and this aromatic amino acid decarboxylase it needs vitamin b6 so this particular reaction needs b6 decarboxylase aromatic amino acid decarboxylase tryptophan to 5-hydroxytryptophan it needs BH4 that is tetrahydrobiopterin. Now 5-hydroxytryptophan is nothing but it is serotonin. Now furthermore serotonin in uh, pineal gland so it will be converted to N-acetyl serotonin. Serotonin is converted to N-acetyl serotonin. This will be done by acetylation process. Acetylation occurs to make N-acetyl serotonin. Now the N-acetyl serotonin in turn it will be converted to melatonin. This will be done by methylation process where S-adenosyl methionine is used and it will be converted to S-adenosyl homocysteine. So 5-hydroxytryptophan that is serotonin is converted to melatonin by two processes. One is acetylation, other is uh, methylation. These two reactions will be going on in pineal gland and that's how melatonin is synthesized there in the pineal gland. Now, what is the purpose of melatonin? Melatonin is a neurohormone, so it is participating in maintenance of dark and light cycle. And that is sleep and wake cycle, which is also referred as 
circadian rhythm so circadian rhythm it is basically maintained by melatonin now with the availability of so many smartphones or the gadgets where the blue light is the major light that is the low wavelength light that is coming by these uh, gadgets especially the smartphone so excess use of blue light especially during light time sorry night time so this can lead to alteration in the synthesis of melatonin in the pineal gland recent studies have shown that excess exposure to blue light in fact it leads to decrease in melatonin synthesis and that can give rise to altered sleep quality and the pattern of sleep can be altered here so that is something that we need to take care here so excess exposure to blue light can affect melatonin synthesis any food that contains high concentration of or high content of tryptophan so they will make more melatonin in pineal glands that's why consumption of milk consumption of turkey or any food that contains more tryptophan that will tend to make person drowsy or sleepy and it can be one of partly it is because of synthesis of melatonin there so this is all in brief about how the tryptophan is converted to melatonin in pineal gland what is the function of melatonin and what is the effect of blue light on melatonin and excess tryptophan containing foods why they make us drowsy after consuming those food so that's about it i hope you understood the concept about uh, melatonin synthesis if you like the video please give thumbs up and also for further updates and to keep in touch with the videos that i will be uploading so you can consider uh, consider subscribing to my channel so have a good rest of your day thank you